The ongoing debate surrounding NASCAR's new charter agreement has stirred a great deal of controversy, especially involving the teams of 23XI Racing and Front Row Motorsports. These two teams have refused to sign the deal, unlike many other teams. This dispute could lead to legal action if not resolved soon. As the 2025 season approaches, everyone in the NASCAR world is watching closely to see how this situation will unfold and what the consequences will be for the sport and the teams involved. Me, 23XI Racing, co-owned by NBA legend Michael Jordan and veteran driver Denny Hamlin, has been very vocal about its dissatisfaction with the new charter agreement. They believe the deal is unfair and could harm their future in the sport. Front Row Motorsports shares many of the same concerns, which is why both teams have chosen not to sign the deal. These teams are primarily worried about how the new agreement will affect rule changes, intellectual property rights, and their traditional relationships with drivers. According to Hamlin, the current situation feels like a threat as NASCAR seems to be using pressure tactics to force teams to comply. The charter system was first introduced in 2016 to provide teams with more stability and long-term planning ability. A charter guarantees a spot in every race, which ensures a share of the prize money. This system was designed to help teams attract sponsors and invest in their futures with more confidence. However, the new version of the charter agreement has caused considerable unrest, particularly for teams like 23XI Racing and Front Row Motorsports, who believe that the new deal could jeopardize their operations. One of the major concerns voiced by these teams revolves around rule changes. In NASCAR, rules and regulations are constantly evolving. This can affect everything from the cars to the way races are conducted. Teams are worried that the new charter agreement will limit their say in these rule changes, especially when costly modifications are proposed. For smaller teams, the financial burden of adapting to new rules can be significant. Larger, more established teams might be able to absorb these costs more easily but for teams like 23XI and Front Row Motorsports, any unexpected expenses could have a more dramatic impact on their bottom line. Dale Earnhardt Jr. recently talked about the tension between 23XI Racing and NASCAR. This tension is because 23XI Racing has not signed a new charter agreement. The same goes for Front Row Motorsports, another team in the NASCAR Cup Series. All other teams have already signed the agreement. This disagreement has led to rumors about possible legal action. Dale Earnhardt Jr. on his podcast shared his views on the situation. He gave insights to whether the issue could go to court and how fans might react if it does. I don't see this turning into a, a clown show or, or creating some t sort of a oh, legal battle. Kinda. I don't. I don't see Which it. Curtis Polk did say, oh, if we have to. I just don't. I mean, they may, but I don't think anyone's going to really care. I don't think the public is going to invest emotionally in any litigation or illegal battle would, would would you i mean if it goes into the courts are you gonna go are you gonna follow that i would probably go okay they're gonna do that i'll i see that uh we'll see who wins but when when one wins or whoever it is that wins i'm not gonna be uh am, am i are you gonna be i, I think the news cycle is just too fast and like well, there's a lot of wild <laughs> that happens in, in today's world that get get your attention but in a, you know, a week later, you're like on to the next, and I just feel like this would kind of be the same thing. Once it once it gets kind of down, weaving it, woven into the, you know, a, a court case, I think we're all going to check out, and there's be other <laughs> going on in the sport that will be more important. Another issue at heart of this dispute is the concern over intellectual property rights. In motorsports, branding and sponsorships are crucial for financial success teams spend a lot of time and money building their brand, and they rely on sponsorship deals to cover costs and stay competitive. The new charter agreement has raised concerns that NASCAR could impose restrictions on how teams manage their intellectual property, including their logos, merchandise, and marketing efforts. Losing control over these assets could hurt a team's ability to negotiate deals with sponsors and maintain a strong presence in the sport. Curtis Polk, Michael Jordan's longtime business manager, has been particularly outspoken about how these negotiations have played out. Polk has compared the situation to David versus Goliath, stating that NASCAR has used its superior power to dominate the negotiations and force teams into accepting a deal 
that does not meet their needs. Polk and others feel that NASCAR has refused to engage in meaningful dialogue to address the team's concerns. Instead, they claim NASCAR has only made minor changes to the agreement while ignoring the bigger issues that teams like 23XI Racing and Front Row Motorsports have raised. This growing tension has led to speculation about a potential legal battle. 23XI Racing has hired antitrust lawyer Jeffrey Kessler, who is known for his involvement in major legal cases like the NCAA name, image, and likeness, or NIL reforms. Kessler's involvement signals that 23XI Racing is seriously considering taking legal action against NASCAR. If a lawsuit is filed, it could challenge NASCAR's control over the sport and set a precedent for how business is conducted in the future. Such a legal battle could be a game changer for NASCAR, a sport that has long held significant control over its teams and drivers. The prospect of a legal battle has raised concerns across the sport. While many teams have signed the new charter agreement, it's clear that not everyone is happy with the terms. Some teams may have felt pressured to sign the deal to avoid losing their charters, while others like 23XI Racing and Front Row Motorsports have chosen to hold out in the hope of securing a better deal. Both teams believe that the new agreement does not address their concerns and could harm their ability to operate successfully in the future. One of the key points of contention is how the new deal affects the distribution of revenue from television contracts. Under the current system, teams receive a portion of the revenue from TV broadcast, but 23XI Racing and other teams believe they should be receiving a larger share. As the cost of competing at a high level continue to rise, teams argue that the current distribution model does not reflect the financial realities they face. They feel that NASCAR, as the governing body, is taking too large of a cut of the revenue while the teams, which bear most of the costs, are not getting enough in return. Front Row Motorsports is also in a unique position because it has expressed interest in acquiring one of the four charters that will be vacated by Stuart Haas Racing at the end of the season. This complicates their stance on the new charter agreement as they may be weighing the potential benefits of acquiring a new charter against the drawbacks of signing an unfavorable deal. The NASCAR playoffs are already underway, but the issue of the charter agreement remains unresolved. This has created an atmosphere of uncertainty as no one knows for sure what will happen next. If 23XI Racing and Front Row Motorsports continue to refuse to sign the agreement, they could lose their charters effectively forcing them out of the sport. However, the threat of legal action looms large and NASCAR may be forced to return to the negotiating table to avoid a costly and protracted court battle. The potential legal battle could have major implications for the future of NASCAR. For decades, NASCAR has maintained tight control over the way the sport is run, but a successful legal challenge could change that. So, what are your thoughts on this? Comment them down right now. And while you're down there, make sure to hit that subscribe button.